Hello everyone, welcome to Jessica Academy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create carpet material using Renderman for Maya. So this is going to be a series of tutorials where I'll be talking about various different methods of creating carpet materials in Renderman. So this is going to be a three-part tutorial and uh, I'll be talking about how to create carpet materials using PXR Surface and Llama workflow and uh, PXR Disney material workflow. So in this first part, I'll be talking about PXR Surface to create carpet material. So yeah, let's get started. So I, here I have a very simple scene and I just have a Sterling car model that I've downloaded from Pixar uh, Random Man's website. So, and I have a PXR dome light for lighting and I have uh, connected a HDRA that I've downloaded from HDRA Haven. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. And before we actually work on the material, maybe we have, uh, we can have a look at our, uh, some of the real world references. So if you look at our carpet material, so this is a little tricky to achieve. Actually, you can see the speckle, it's a little, little complex. So if you look at this, you can see we have some sharp reflection is going on. And underneath that, we have some very broad and rough specular, metallic specular is going on. So basically, yeah, we have to create two different speculars to uh, achieve the same kind of result. So if you if you look at some of the other references, yeah, you can you can clearly see some of the bright and broad uh, highlight here so uh, yeah and uh, you can see we have the sharp reflection here and there and yeah you can you can see the uh, broad highlight uh, especially where the surface bends a lot like this and these areas let's dive into Maya to create our material so let's select our body geo and uh, Let's assign PXR surface. Let's start the IPR. So first we are going to work on the broad specular, so the rough specular. So I'm going to reduce the diffuse gain. So let's uh, first focus on the specular. So in this case, I'm going to use the primary specular. Let's go for physical and increase the edge color and uh, Increase the roughness to something like 0 0.4 something and we need to increase the refraction index to uh, get some kind of metallic feel to the specular and we need to add color to our specular. So uh, okay so this is fine this is just fine for the base maybe let's go to clear coat and let's add the clear coat layer to get that varnish kind of feel. So yeah, this is looking cool. So now we got these two different specular work on a single surface. This is looking cool. And maybe now we need to change the specular model to GGX. And uh, maybe we need to play with our color. So maybe let's increase the edge color. Okay, increase the brightness. And so now we need to add a little bit of diffuse, I think. This color is fine. I think this is too much. Maybe we can reduce a little. Cool. Yeah, so this is exactly like uh, we have to balance between this diffuse and primary specular's uh, roughness and uh, edge color and refraction index. So it will it will take definitely it will take a little time to achieve the result. So maybe we can we can increase the saturation of uh, both the diffuse and specular colors maybe we can go for something like green i think this is too much maybe like 60 in the hue or a 57 or something like that maybe a 58 yeah i think we are pretty much close to our reference and uh, maybe we can go for some auto crop to get some uh, quick look at our material cool i think this is fine we are we are pretty much there so uh, maybe we can add a, a little bit flakes on on top of the surface so in the carpet material if you look very closely 
we will have a lot of flakes in the surface so uh, yeah let's let's work on the flakes as well so let's stop the IPR for a while and go to hyper shade and uh, let's focus on our material okay so let's create a PXR flakes and uh, let's connect this result into specular bump normal where is that guy here yeah so once you connected this maybe we can start the IPR we can solo this guy cool you can you can clearly see we have something here so uh, maybe we can go for some closer look of what is going on cool now you can see the the flakes are a little big in size maybe we can reduce the flake size and maybe we can play with the flakes frequency yeah i think this is fine maybe we can turn off this solo and uh, we can go back to our previous frame and maybe we can auto crop again this is looking fine let's turn off the auto crop and let's give it a full render so this is the result after some time to render it so yeah i think this is cool so as you can see here we are pretty much close to our reference so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching